All right, you guys. So you've been thinking about living and moving to Phoenix, Arizona, and you're like, what's it like to live there? Well, I have put together a list of 10 things that you absolutely must know before you live here. And if you can handle those things, then this will be the place for you. Um, We are very large. Phoenix in general is very large. It has like 1.7, 1.8 million people right now. But Phoenix Metro, which is the surrounding cities, and they all really melt together. You really don't know a lot of times like what city you're in because they just kind of zoom together. Um, It's I think 4.8, almost 5 million people now. So we are very large, fifth largest city in the nation. Um, But it is easy to get around because we are on a grid system. So our freeways are a little bit newer and we just kind of circle or cut right through. Um, You know, during rush hour, yes, you're going to have times uh, where things get backed up during tourist season, it's a little bit harder too. Um, but again, if you look at my other videos that have all the different surrounding suburbs, I zone in more on that and talk about the different events and, um, you know, what the traffic's going to be like if you're working here or living here, the, you know, schools, all that kind of stuff. So main thing is we are very, very big. Number two, weather. Yes, it's hot. Uh, but it is a dry heat. And I always remember my Chicago friends telling me that in college, I went to ASU, uh, you know, Hey, why'd you move here? And they're like, well, cause you can't shovel sunshine anyhow. So it is hot. We do get up to 115 to 120, uh, 120 is more rare. It's usually 110 to 115 in our hottest days. And you do get the humidity in July and August with our monsoons. You do get the haboobs, which are the huge dust storms, which are actually, pretty cool looking though. You will taste uh, a lot of the dirt like in your mouth, but anyhow, just part of living here is our weather. But, um, you know, for about eight months a year, it is really gorgeous and you can pretty much be outside all the time. So know that number three is our tourism and nightlife. We get very busy, uh, November through April, but January, February, March with spring training, Barrett Jackson, the Phoenix open, uh, it it's pretty spring break. It's pretty crazy. So, uh, as long as you like people and, um, I will say most tourists cause they're on vacation are in awesome mood. So it's actually usually pretty fun when you run into them. Um, but yes, we do get very busy and a lot of retirees. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, our landscape, lots of desert landscaping, lots of low watering, lots of cacti. Don't forget if you cut down a cacti, you can be fined like $150,000. You can go to jail. So we are very, um, you know, watchful of our natural habitat. So definitely don't go out and, um, cut any saguaros down because you've been warned now. So anyhow, number five, water, we're surrounded by a lot of lakes. We're only five hours to San Diego, four hours to Rocky Point, which is in Mexico. If you want to go to a beach, um, but people go paddle boarding, they go jet skiing, they go boating. You can live right by one of the bigger lakes if you live on the outskirts of town, or you can buy a home within a community uh, because there's lots of little man-made lakes all around the valley. And um, so you can have your own boat in your backyard and go into your neighborhood lake and you can fish there too. So that's pretty cool. So we do have water around us. It's not just, just desert. Okay. What else? Dogs, people love their dogs. Dogs are everywhere. They're on the patio. They're at grocery stores. Um, everyone's dog is a, a support animal, um, emotional support animal, therapy support animal. Uh, it's good because I love dogs. I, you know, whenever I see a dog, I just want to hug it and make out with it. But anyway, that's just me. I love dogs. So they are everywhere. People drink their beers and they have their dog in their lap and they have a grand old time. Um, and it's just a really, it's actually just really cool and really fun. So lots of animal lovers out here, just something you should know. Cause you will see them in the grocery stores <laughs> um, and maybe even at a movie sleeping on your lap. I don't know. Okay. Uh, something really important. Number seven was unincorporated areas unincorporated areas do not get city services. You do have to pay extra for it. And if the home was annexed in at some point and it had some add-ons, it may not be up to code. So you do want to make sure that you check that out and uh, make sure if you're buying a home. And again, I get people that reach out to me all the time. I am a realtor out here, uh, Home Smart Valley Solutions team. And uh, I always make sure to point that out because 
you know, if you're not from here, you might not kind of understand our different unincorporated areas. So something to definitely be aware of. Um, something that's amazing here is our food. We have the best Mexican food. It is so authentic and so spicy and so good. Also have tons of amazing restaurants. Again, uh, people from Iron Chef, we have uh, just, it's awesome. So our food is so good. It, it is top quality. Just, we have amazing food on every corner, including um, Dutch Bros Coffee, which everyone is obsessed with out here, but we still do have Starbucks. Uh, Black Rock Coffee is also making a huge showing out here as well. Um, sports teams, we do have NHL, the Coyotes, we have, you know, uh, NFL Cardinals, we have NBA, the Suns, and, um, we have the Diamondbacks for the MLB. So we do have all of our really great sports teams. They have air conditioned arenas, the roofs, you know, open and close the, the bottom comes out. Uh, it's really cool. And, um, we love our sports teams, but it is fun and competitive because, no one is from here. So, um, it is cool. Cause you'll go to any game and you'll see tons of fans from, you know, the opposing, uh, team because they now live here too. So it is cool. We do have a lot of good sports teams and have a lot of fun with that. Okay. You guys. So those are some of the things that I felt like were really important that you should know if you are thinking of living or moving to Phoenix, Arizona or its surrounding cities, I can help you find a place that you think is good for you. Cause I'm a native. I'm from here. You guys, I've, I've, lived in all the different areas. I've partied in the different areas. I've worked in the different areas. I've, um, you know, now I have a family and I've lived in different areas and, and my family lives in different areas. And I just, I remember when, you know, I'm that person. Oh my gosh. I remember when there was coyotes here and now it's a shopping mall, whatever. So, you know, I can help you, but you got to reach out. Yeah. You know, send me a text, send me a call, um, you know, comment below, shoot me an email, uh, again, here's my contact info, but, um, you know, schedule a zoom call with me. And, you know, if you let me know what you're looking for, I just need to know some of your likes, some of your dislikes, uh, Phoenix. Is so, so big. And, um, I want to make sure that I'm getting you the area that you think is, is best for you. So anyhow, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, and subscribe. I hope you found this useful. I love, love, love Phoenix and all of its surrounding cities. I'm really proud to be from here and to be a native. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day and um, I will see you later. Bye.